um, so you can have the rest of your day Monday. But I was really trying to find a, oh, my church put one of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s speeches all about serving, but they made a really um, modern video about it. And I had it all queued up, but it's like once they record live because they do um, five sermons and they've got one more to do tonight, it's like they take it down, I guess, so everything's fresh and new each time. So um, what we did do is, and if you're there, you guys might want to mute your lines in between and then just unmute. But I just wanted to kind of um, kick this off. Uh, we're going to be sharing today, be thinking a little bit. You know, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. is really known for his I Have a Dream speech and uh, Jay Martin, the president of our company, is always talking about, you know, what, what are your dreams and not just having dreams, but, you know, what can we do to make those dreams come true? So I thought it'd be fun today just to kind of share even one of your dreams, even if it feels silly um, or, or maybe it's something that you're, you know, wholeheartedly working for or envision in your life. And then, and then we can also talk about just things because of the dream that Jay Martin had for us to be able to go out and really serve the world and to serve them in a, such a meaningful way, changing them at the cellular level. And because of this company that he has created and this, this product that he's brought to people, how, 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 what has happened to us um, because of that? And it could be something that has happened to you or your family, uh, your health, your lifestyle. It can be anything. So there are no wrong or uh, right answers today. It's just giving everybody a little sneak peek into um, how those things affect you. But before we start, I just want to share just this like minute and a half video because I really feel it's what we're all about is serving. And, um, and I just love the way MLK puts this. So hang on just a minute. No, I always go off. If you want to be a part, wonderful. If you want to be recognized, wonderful. If you want to be great, wonderful. But recognize that. He who is greatest among you shall be yourself. That's a new definition of greatness. This morning, the thing that I like about it, by giving that definition of greatness, it means that everybody can be great. Because everybody can serve. You don't have to have a college degree to serve. You don't know, you don't have to make your subject and your goal agree to serve. You don't have to know about Plato and Aristotle to serve. You don't have to know Einstein's theory of relativity to serve. You don't have to know the second theory of thermodynamics in physics to serve. You only need a heart full of grace. So generated by love, you can be that sin. Sorry, I lost my uh, cursor. Okay, we're back. Anyway, I just really feel that, that we are all out serving and that can make all of us great. You know, we can all be great. And some, one thing, uh, he didn't go into this, but part of Martin Luther King Jr. speech was he was just talking about, didn't matter what you did, you could be sweeping streets, but if you're going to sweep the streets, you be the best street sweeper out there. And, um, you know, he'd go through each thing. And so it was really, it was really cool because this young man is walking in the barbershop and you see him every day sweeping up the hair, cleaning the mirrors, cleaning the glass, kind of doing things that some people would 
feel as menial, but he did it with all of his heart every day. And he just kept serving and serving. And there was a whole wall of great people in their pictures, including Martin Luther King Jr.'s pictures on the wall. And one day the owner took a picture of this young man with his broom and he put a big old picture of him up there with all the other great people on the wall. And it just was like, oh, <laughs> it was really cool of just showing, you know, it, I, I love it. So anyway, I'll leave that. I don't know if that touches anybody else, but I think it's such a great reminder today to remember all we need to do to be great is to serve. I left you all speechless. Okay, well, hey, I just wanna open up the floor just kind of along the same theme. And it's so fun just to get to know each, each of you uh, a little bit more and that you get to know each other's heart a little bit more. But if you wanna take, not, you know, we're not taking five minutes of a detailed dream, but just, just to give us a little snippet of what's, what's a dream you have for yourself or for your family. Um, I don't care how big or small it is. What is a dream that you have for yourself? And maybe let us know, is this a dream that you really see coming true or not? Or Go ahead, Dar. And you might be muted. Oh. There you go. Um, well, you know, when you put that out in our uh, post about what to think about today, it instantly came to me about a dream that I had had, had past tense for many years. Um, and part of it was my, with the Juice Plus business. It's an extension of the, have, being in the business and um, some of the dreams we had and the goals we've had over the years, you know. So one of my bucket list dreams was to take my family on a cruise somewhere. And it happened for me. So I just wanted to instill inspiration and encouragement to all of you because I lived it. It happened for me. And that was to take my family. We went on a Hawaiian cruise in 2018 on, on the Norwegian ship. And we went to all these islands. And my, my grandson, who was um, 15 back then, had always said, Grams, I want to go to Hawaii, you know. So it was one of his... Uh, desires from the time he was a little kid and so uh, it was not just my dream to I I, sh I uh, cared for all the expenses anything on the side was up to my family but I um, treated my family Wow so, yeah so what a an amazing bucket list dream to have experience so um, yeah I just want to tell you to get specific with your dreams and your goals. And um, that was a dream of mine for a long, long time. I just, I've heard of other families doing it, treating their whole family and being on this cruise, you know, with your kids and grandkids and having a blast. And so that was my dream and it happened in 2018. Um, and it was really, it was amazing. It was wonderful. And that was when the volcano was really active. And so it was so cool that we were on the ship because we could see the, the active volcano at that time. I think it was Haleakala that was um, erupting. And from the ship, we could see it in the air, you know. Um, so anyway, that's my that was one of my bucket lists. I still have bucket list dreams, I'll tell you that much. And my business has helped me to achieve some of those things. So that I hope that encourages all of you. It's always possible. And I like the way, as soon as you started talking about it, I mean, your face is just glowing. I can tell you're, you're like reminiscing all through yeah. it. Yeah. It was a gift to your family, but I, it was a, a gift to you, the gift that keeps giving to everybody. That's awesome. And yeah. that, that is darn on our bucket list uh, in the future. Is, is it? For us to organize some sort of family uh, kind of adventure vacation and the same thing where, uh, the burden of the expense is going to be on us. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Can, can you adopt me? <laughs> I, I, I'd really like to be adopted. You bet. You bet. Somebody else go. What else? What else is a, a dream? Oh, Michelle. 
Well, I have a lot of dreams, a lot of goals, a lot of dreams have came true from the uh, beginning of this, this adventurous Juice Plus community business mission. Um, well, you guys for all, for one, um, all the people in the Juice Plus community is absolutely incredible. And that's a huge dream come true for me. Um, I've had a lot of things come true. Like I was able to buy my first vehicle. Obviously I didn't pay for it in full, but it's nice being able to just go out and purchase something on your own without to rely on somebody else to do it for you. So I was able to go get myself a Yukon XL, which I absolutely love. I can pay for that. Um, my big, hairy, audacious dream is to retire my husband. Wow. It will happen. It just got to give me a little bit of time. Um, and then, of course, you know, my dream came true that I get to be at home with my kids. I get to partake in all of their events. Um, and I would like to travel around the world. And that's the great thing about this business is you can. You can take this business wherever, wherever you go. So, and then I'd also like to take that burden off of my kids' shoulders when they get older of school. You know, I want to be able to put them in a fin financial position where they don't have to stress on, well, can I go to school? Because I don't know if I can afford it. And this business has that opportunity. So that's awesome. Thanks, Michelle. Anybody else want to share a dream you having right now? Go ahead, Jen. Um, I have, well, my first smaller goal, but I feel like it's pretty big is I want to obviously not work as much. Um, and so, but owning a salon, it's kind of a little bit different because you have to be there and all, anyway, all that stuff. But I would like to work, maybe go cut back to about three days a week. But my old, I have a big goal and um, really love to um, be able to somehow save the money and get in the mission field. And I think that that Juice Plus could totally be amazing for that being um, something I can do anywhere um, and be on the mission field. And, you know, that's, that would be really awesome for us as a family. It'd be really cool to, to be able to do that. It's just kind of an ultimate dream that I have and <laughs> maybe it'll happen in a few years. Maybe it'll happen in 10. I don't know. Um, but that would be mine. Awesome. Wow. wow. That's big. And just your, your total impact, your kingdom impact, everything. Good for you, Jen. I love it. Does anybody else want to share? Uh, Susie, this is Lisa. And um, I would just say that a lot of the dreams that resonate with people are right up there with me. Mine is just to have my retirement and to be able to travel the world. That's my big, hairy, audacious goal. But my everyday mission is to help my clients. Um, that's pretty much it. In fact, I was dual listening to Lori's gut health series this morning. So I'm jumping back and forth. So yeah, I mean, I meet so many people with compromised health. It just, it makes me ill. It make, almost makes me cry sometimes when I come across people that are just so desperate for an answer. And that's kind of, I'll realize my dreams as I help people get better. Wow. Very cool. Okay. So I have a f many, many, but one is kind of going back to where you were in the beginning, Susie, where you wanted to buy Ron a truck. And my hubby would like a truck so much. And we've, we've put some numbers together and we've thought about things, but it would really be fun to have a bigger paycheck so we, he can get a newer truck, right? And he's, he's ready to settle like, oh, anything with, you know, 70,000 or 80,000 miles. And I'm like, what? That's a lot of miles already. Like why not 30 or 40? But anyhow, so that bigger paycheck will help me to contribute to that, which ultimately it's to get him to a point where he may feel more comfortable letting go of his second job. So he works full time and has a part time job um, just to give him the option if that's what he wants. Uh, but then currently what I really thankful for is 
that I have my juice plus income and I have the time freedom to travel to Colorado to see my son and his family kind of whenever they want me to come or I want to be back out there to see them. So when I worked corporate, for those who don't know, I've pretty much always been a corporate person with, with maybe around three weeks vacation a year. And that's not enough to spend time with family that live out of state. So those are three of my top ones right now. Yay. Yay. Very cool. Anybody else want to share? And if you're on the phone, just introduce yourself. Or maybe everybody should introduce just because people on the phone might not know your voice and then they'll know who you are. Well, this is Jake. I'll go ahead and share. Um, I have a lot of really big dreams. If you know me, I'm a dreamer and I dream big. Um, but I also have small dreams. Um, one of those dreams is coming to fruition right now. Um, the way that our house is set up, it's very difficult to host an event that, that holds more than three people. So we're adding an addition onto our house, a 20 by 20 room that is really all for my business, which is really exciting. So I'm really excited for that to get finished. But um, one of my big, hairy, audacious goals is, while we're in the building field, is to build a barn like this, where it would be a conference center, where I could host Juice Plus, large Juice Plus events, team events. Um, the lower half would be all the conference center area, and the upper half would be apartments, are rooms where people could stay. So how cool would that be for like Juice Plus events, Juice Plus retreats? Um, and then, but in order to get there, we want to buy this um, and travel the country and help to support our team and grow our business. So that's a couple of the things. And I absolutely know because of what I've been through in the Juice Plus company, been with them for 10 years. And I, I went out and bought my very first vehicle without Darren's, like Michelle was talking about, the empowerment that that gives you to be able to go out and buy your own vehicle without your husband having this co-sign for you. My God, that was amazing. And then when I did it again with a newer vehicle and when the bank, when, the, when I, when I called the bank and my banker to see what, what they would work, if they would even work with me, she says, oh yeah, you just write a check for anything up to the value of the vehicle. We got your back. And I'm like, oh my God, really? How cool is that, right? I've never experienced that before. Um, and I, so I have a newer Suburban. It's not brand new, but it's newer. And uh, I did that on my own. Um, and then uh, I, time freedom. I mean, for all of you moms on the call, I know that that's something that's really important to us. I've had time freedom um, with this business. I don't have to work. I get to do this every single day, and I never thought that that would e ever even be a possibility. I thought, gosh, if I could just pay for my own Juice Plus, how cool would that be? But when our boys were younger, they were, uh, they're all graduated and, and growing, and one's getting married, two of them's getting married. Anyway, um, when they were in high school, they were big into wrestling, and so we traveled the state to go to wrestling tournaments. I never had to ask for a day off. I never had to, to worry about how I was going to get to this event because. Um, and we, we would stay over nights a lot of times. We would rent a hotel and we'd stay over. And so it was my Juice Plus business that did that. And my goal too, like, is like Michelle, to retire my husband so that we can do these things together. We can build this together and, and live this life together. And I have full confidence that, that it'll happen. Absolutely. And I think that's so much of it, so having that vision. You know, I hear each of you saying you had this vision and this idea. So the things that you've already achieved are awesome, but keep that target, you know, out yeah. in front of you. Do you notice that Jake had visuals there? I want to build this. I'm going to have that. <laughs> that's really, that's really um, amazing. I'm going to ask for a few more volunteers, but I, just because we're talking about this, um, we are going to be putting out, I told you about um, Jamie Anderson Life Coaching. She is going to do vision board sessions with us. And so I will be putting information out about that. We will be setting a date in uh, February to do that. And whether you can do it at the same time as us, we're gonna open up a Zoom, whether you're doing it by yourself in your home, or if you're somebody who's gonna invite other people into your home. And you could have non-Juice Plus people that are just looking for some direction. They can sign up, pay the $7. They're gonna receive all the resources from Jamie. They also receive a, a training that she's gonna do on the vision boards because she doesn't believe your vision board should just be this pretty thing and then you're done and you tuck it behind your dresser. She teaches you how to take that vision board and turn it into an action board. 
Um, and so uh, it goes right along with the training if you were at the Pajama Regional training with Linda Evenden. And so I'm excited about that. And also, if you plan to have people in your home for that, I want you to contact me because I'm going to meet with those people or put us in a Voxer group. And we're gonna come up with a day that will work for as many of us as possible. But even if this is something that doesn't work out time-wise for you and you're like, you know what, the only time I have to do it is at three o'clock in the morning on a Wednesday, that's okay. You can take all these resources and you could still do it at three o'clock in the morning on a Wednesday by yourself and it would still, still be beneficial to you. So nothing needs to hold you back. Um, and I think it could be a real game changer for you to have some of those visuals and set yourself up for success the way Jamie's going to teach us uh, in that. So as you're talking about these dreams, be thinking about that and what would you want on your vision board. And she likes you to have a balanced life. So she'll talk about dreams for all parts of your life. So my, something might be your relationships. It could be your business. It could be, you know, all different things like that. But let me open up the floor. Does anybody else have a dream they want to share or, or people have even moved into what you've already accomplished with, with Juice Plus? You can, you can wrap it together if you want. Um, Susie, I, I'll, I'll go. Jake, uh, I was kind of reluctant to um, share because I'm a dreamer too. So Jake, thanks for, thanks for going first because um, I don't have pictures yet. <laughs> but um, but yeah, I mean, I, those of you, I'm, this is Kirsten for those of you on the phone and I've been doing this, gosh, Susie, did I place my order in September? Um, and so um, I tried the product first in September and so I, I am just receiving my second shipment. Um, yeah, they're this is just mailing out. So, um, for, for only doing this for the past four ish months, um, I feel like I have these, I feel like every goal is big because I'm, I'm just starting to kind of hit a level where I can, can kind of count some income, but just kind of quickly, um, I also have a corporate background and I think those of us that spent the first 20 years of our career in a corporate situation where we're looking at a benefits package and we're looking at that bi-weekly paycheck and we're, we're budgeting accordingly to go off on our own and, and do this, you know, I've got kids home day for Martin Luther King day. And so, you know, teaching them that, that this is, that this is work, that this is how I choose to work, that, that, cho that making the choice a couple months ago, right about when I kind of really reached out to Jen and said, Hey, you know, what, what are you doing? Um, was about the time my husband and I were having a conversation. He's like, you know, I support you. I appreciate your passion, um, you know, for wanting to be healthy, for wanting to be present with the kids, for wanting to, you know, serve fresh food on the dinner table and all these things. But gosh, it's so time consuming and I'm worried about you. You know, you're trying to do all these things. And, work. and so he said, you know, you might have to give some of these things up. And he wasn't saying that to, to take away any of my passions, but he was, he was concerned because there's just only so many hours in the day. So if you're trying to work a separate job that conflicts with your values. And so finding this to be able to then bring, bring my values to, to life uh, is, um, you know, is, is awesome. So I'm, so I, the, I, I've been kind of, okay, the next level customers, contacts, find one, you know, focus on all of those, you know, kind of searching for that metric that, that, the, the corporate would provide, you know, with the benefits package and this percentage increase each year, and this is my budget and so forth. So anyway, um, during the last shred, I was talking to a friend of mine who may join us and do the business someday. And she lives in Seattle and she was sharing with me that one of her goals, and she's got some other, you know, things that she's battled her life too. And, um, she's running a marathon. And I'm kind of a 5K girl, you know, that's about the attention span and stamina that I usually hold myself to. And, uh, I, and I love running 5Ks. So she said she signed up to run this marathon in um, Bellingham, Washington. In and she did so because she, she needed a goal, not just I want to lose 10 pounds in January, uh, not just I want to be healthier and cut this out of my diet in February. She wanted something on the horizon that she could train for and focus on. And so I said, well, my gosh, my daughter goes to school at uh, WSU. It, you know, it's, 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 it's an extra flight, but heck, I'll, I'll be there cheering for you. And so then the next morning I get up on the treadmill and it's like day two of shred and I'm wishing I had a cup of coffee and I'm kind of galloping along on the treadmill and thinking, I'm going to watch her? No, I'm going to run with her. 
And so, you know, it helped me kind of have the, the goal on the horizon, but I have goals that by the time I run, I have goals associated with that. I mean, one, it's, it's, it's my way of kind of mark, tar, marking my journey physically towards a healthier life that I'll need if I'm going to make it through. I'm not running the full marathon. I'm running the half, by the way. And, um, you know, but, but if I'm going to do that, what do I have to do healthy wise? So it's a way for me to kind of document my proof, but along the way and through this um, vision boarding at each incremental step along the way, I have a financial goal I want to set for myself. I have, you know, bills that I want to pay off my own instead of that burden being on my husband. I have, you know, the girl, I've got my oldest as a freshman in college. My second oldest is starting school next year. You know, I want to relieve that stress from them that any loans that they have to take out, you know, I'm committing to paying half of, you know, and I want to, I want, so I have each milestone on this so that when I, when that race starts, it's not just the physical freedom. It's, it's the, I did this by not compromising what I value and I believe in. And I also, by that time, you know, have, have goals of what I want to be contributing financially. So this isn't just my husband supporting my pipe dream, if you will. So anyway, um, that's, that's kind of how I've, and at the same time, um, I'm really a big walk the walk kind of girl. And so I want the people that are signing up with me to see that, you know, juice plus is important to me and it's making me healthier and more vibrant and it's making it possible because without this nutritional support, running a half marathon in nine months that I just decided to just throw out there something that I wanted to do would be much more difficult um, than, than if I didn't have this nutritional support. And so that's the kind of inspiration I want to provide to my, my team and community. Oh, I love it. I keep hearing through everybody is it sounds like everybody's trying to get back with their values. You know, this is my value to spend time with my family. This is my value to take a burden off my husband. This is my value to give back. Um, I, I love that. And that goes right along with the little video we watched in the beginning that, you know, MLK just saying, that's why I think you are such a great team because you serve. You just want to be out there serving, serve, you know, it's not only, sometimes I've been to different conferences with different things I've done and it's just all about the bling and when this diamond ring and when this and when that. Um, but I never feel that with the Juice Plus community. Yes, we want to be good to ourselves, but you always see that people, you know, want to give back in, in another way. So very, very cool. Um, I love how you're tracking it. Uh, Any else? Um, willing to share this morning a dream singers? Okay, if you decide to, I'll just share, um, a lot of you know my dreams or brought that in, and your dreams change as you keep coming in, but it really was my dream to be able to be with my my kids all the time and you know being a school teacher everything as a teacher because your calendar is the same as as the other school children so i couldn't go to a regular conference i couldn't go to their programs i couldn't go to all those things because those are usually dated across the district at the same time so i love that i got to all through school whether it was grade school middle school high school even college I got to be present at any and every activity that I wanted to be. And um, I feel like now that my kids are in their 20s and 30s, they're realizing the value of that. And um, I mean, we even had a really nice text from my son just, uh, just last week, just saying, you know, hey, the family was supporting him and something that had happened in his life. And, you know, he just came back saying, wow, I... I know I don't say it enough, but how fortunate I am to be in such a loving family where we are always there for one another. And I thought, well, you know, that's pretty awesome coming out of a 24 year old um, male uh, to, to just, you know, being able to recognize his family as that. And then I've had, you know, monetary kind of things like they brought up the truck that twice I've been able to buy a brand new um, truck for Ron. Uh, we put all of our kids off. All, all the kids have, all three been through college and, and they come out with zero loans. We made sure that, um, you know, that they just had a clean slate as long as they just did their, their best and that we were able to do that. And it feels really good. And I guess also from a health standpoint, I just look at how things 
I truly believe that Ron is here today um, and any new people that are on here just to know that, you know, Ron's stage four metastatic melanoma cancer. And so, yeah, he still has cancer. It's, it's on his screens, you know, but look at him. He's been able to join the business with me. He's been able to leave the corporate world and not have those stresses and to make it a full-time job to serve and give back by sharing Juice Plus and really to take care of his health, to make, make his health the main priority. Um, because in that way, he's making his family a priority because we need him here. We want him here. And uh, so I just look at all of that. If I would not have had the Juice Plus community and people rallying around us and praying for us and um, teaching us and guiding us and showing us um, just so many ways to stay healthy and, um, and helping to pay for all the treatments and you know everything along the way. I, I just think my life could be radically different right now. So I'm just ever grateful to the Juice Plus company and most especially to you all. You, you all is what make it, you know, it's my team. I'm nothing all here on my own. I'm, I would just be serving a few customers. But as a team, we serve thousands. The number on the bottom of the line is thousands and that doesn't even count all the children that are free that we are having an impact so i i love that um so anyway i just i know it, it just sounds cliche but i really do love and appreciate each one of you even if you're brand new and i haven't even met you to being here you know for almost two decades with me some of you have been here for almost two decades with me and, um, you know, that's just unseen in direct sales, the, the longevity of what people stay together and support each other. And so I just want to say thank you today. And, um, <laughs> oh my gosh, look at my daughter's bringing us. There, she, she says we're, we're behind on our water. We've got those water bottles with the, so it's kind of funny. Now, if they see we're behind, they deliver our water to us. But um, anyway. I won't keep you all any longer unless somebody really wants to, to share something, but be part of the vision boarding coming up. Uh, I think it's the best way. I've heard it other ways. It's not just a vision. It's what do you want to manifest in your life? Okay. It, it's not just a make-believe dream that never comes true. What do you want to manifest in your life? And um, I, I just... I just think it can, this is a pivotal year. I, I really do believe it's a pivotal year for so many people. Um, and I don't know why in each person's life, but I do. And I think so even for my own life. So I invite you to really take advantage of the vision board. And I invite you to invite other people to do it with you. Because sometimes we're in a company where we, we talk about dreams and visions and goals and things all the time. That's not normal talk in America. And so there might be some people that are just existing and they kind of wake up and they go through the same motions every day. And then they go to bed and they wake up and they just do it again and they feel stuck like, what more is there for me? Or I don't think there's any more for me. This, they'll say, well, this is just my life. And, and they live on default. And um, so maybe bring them into this community to say, you know what, you, you can have more, you can be more, you can do more, you can give back more. Um, I think it's powerful. So anyway, I'll leave you with that. So. I wanna share one more thing, Susie. When you were talking about the community, that's one of the things that I, I think that we really lack today is, is community and friendships. Um, and I think for women, it's really difficult to find other women who will build you up instead of tearing you down. Um, and that's one of the things that I really love about this community. Um, that's one of the things that I've, that I've gained from this community is the friendships. Um, I'm going to get choked up. Um, the friendships that I've built because, and the family, the true family that I have with you all, because I don't have that. Um, in my own family, outside of my kids. So to have a community of people who, who really do love you and who want to see the best of you, that's really powerful. So all this other stuff that we get to um, achieve 
I think that the friendships, the true friendships, it's irreplaceable. It's some of the best stuff that, that, that there is. Well said. So agree. So agree. Okay. Well, you guys put a big smile on your face. Go out there and really think about who you can serve just the way we, we learn from Eric Johnson. Each day you wake up thinking, whose life can you make better today? And, um, and just go out and do it. And we'll see you uh, next week on the call. And there is a huddle call. If you are so inclined, join us at the top of the hour. At, um, and we'll enjoy you for the huddle call. Okay.